Welcome, collectors and heavy equipment enthusiasts. Thank you once again for joining me for an all-new edition of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title of this video, we're going to be looking at my entire collection of 150th and 148th scale demolition machines. Now, as a whole, demolition machines are inadequately represented in the 150th scale sect, which essentially means there isn't really a whole lot of them when we look at things from a broad angle. There's tons of excavators out there, obviously, tons of wheel loaders, but there are very few specialized machines. Now, obviously, when you go to the European sector, there are a lot more European-style demolition machines than there are really represented by American makes. So, all things considered, you're only going to see 10 machines here on this video, but I really hope that it gives you a good baseline and a good look at what's out there, especially when we're talking about Caterpillar models. So, let's get started. The first one that we're going to take a look at here is a First Gear International Harvester 175 Series 3 track loader, obviously in a demolition configuration. This model was released a number of years ago, and as you can see, it's pretty highly detailed, and I really do like the winch that's on the back of this thing, as well as the protection that's all over the cab. And you can tell by dead giveaway that this is a demolition machine by looking at the front bucket setup. Now, of course, First Gear made many different versions of this, but this is the demolition setup of this track loader. All right, moving on. One of my favorites in my collection is the Classic Construction Models, or CCM, the Caterpillar 973 track loader, again, in a demolition configuration. When CCM released these in 2019, they made three different versions. Obviously, as I just mentioned, this is the specifically outfitted demolition version. You can tell that because it has some additional protection around the engine and the radiator. You also have some protection around the hydraulic cylinder pistons and, of course, your demolition-style bucket. Now, you can actually still get these from CCM. I don't believe that they're completely sold out. And if you want to collect track loaders or cat track-type tractors or really even demolition equipment, this is a no-brainer. It's very functional. As you can tell by looking at it, it looks great on the shelf. And if you are a particular fan of cat machines from the 70s and the 80s and the Pac-Man era as a whole, definitely would recommend picking one of these up. All right, so that's it for the track loaders. Let's turn our attention now to the excavators. This is a Norscott Caterpillar 323 DL. This model goes back about uh, probably about 11 or 12 years now, so it's been out there for a while. Uh, this comes standard with the CAT hydraulic impact hammer here, and as you can tell, you can have a little bit of fun chiseling away at your finest furniture with the spring-loaded impact hammer. Um, this is now still available, not by Norscott, but by Diecast Masters in their Core Classic series. So again, not a very hard model to get a hold of if you find that you want one. Sticking with 323s, that's the 323D. This is the 323F. Unlike the D version, this is an all-new tooling that Diecast Masters made. In fact, one of their first all-new toolings that they did a number of years ago now, five or six years. The reason I put this in the demolition collection is simply because of the factory installed thumb that comes standard with this excavator. So if you have this in a diorama, specifically obviously a demolition diorama, you can pose this loading pieces of a torn down building into perhaps a long dump truck, like an 18 wheeler dump truck that you would see on demolition sites. Great functionality with the thumb, the poses will hold any pose that you set and uh, a great model. So that's the F version of the 323. If perhaps you are looking for the newest version of the 323, then look no further than this one. This is also a Diecast Masters Highline Series model, but this is the CAT Next Gen. You can tell by the modern hex design. This model comes with a series of five attachments, but just for this video, I have outfitted it with the sorting grapple. And you can move this 360 degrees, you can open and close it. Plenty of different posing opportunities with this attachment. And because it's made from composite materials with both die-cast metal and plastic, it holds up rather well with repeated use. So, that's a 323D, a 323F, and a 323 Next Gen. 
How about we move on to some 330s? This is a custom model that I had the boys at BRI make me probably six years ago now. The base model is a Caterpillar 330DL by Norscott. In my opinion, my humble opinion, one of the best excavator models ever made in 150th scale. I had them attach a, I believe it's an ISM, I could be wrong, uh, Muttley concrete pulverizer attachment on it. And then I also added this cab guard, this cab protection guard, that you simply pull off the mirror that comes standard on the cab, and then you can either do one of two things. You can just place it on here like I'm doing, or if you want to glue it on there, you can glue it as well. Now the processor is a all metal piece, and it holds up very well with repeated use. You can open and close it entirely, so you can pose perhaps maybe some ballast material or some rocks being crushed within. So again, aside from demolition machines, again, one of my favorite custom models that I've ever had commissioned for me. All right, the last custom model that we'll take a look at, I had one of the members of the community build this one several years ago. Again, base model, same thing, Norscott Cat 330DL. And this is outfitted with the ultra high reach boom. Now for years and years, if you wanted a cat ultra high reach uh, demolition excavator 150 scale, you had to have one custom made. So I eventually bit the bullet and had this made, but ironically, I never bought a processing head. So what I used for display was the processor or the pulverizer that came with the Hitachi 870. When it's sitting on a shelf or behind glass, it actually looks halfway decent. But in the real world, this would be way too large for this size excavator. All right, let's get back to some stock models. Here we have the Norscott Caterpillar 336DL excavator. Again, a stock model that you can buy. Um, Diecast Masters still has this in their lineup as a core classic piece. The difference is their version is a 330 instead of a 336. And this comes with a Caterpillar S365C uh, metal shear. You can rotate this and you can open and close it. And because it's metal, it has some pretty good durability to it. And again, you can have maybe some pieces of metal in between here, depending on what diorama or display you want. Again, in a perfect world, I would like to have some cab protection on this excavator, so I might add that down the road. All right, now you saw the first CAT UHD boom. That was custom. This one is not a custom. New to the CAT lineup for this year in 2021. Definitely, without question, one of Diecast Masters' marquee models for this year. This is the Diecast Masters Caterpillar Next Generation 352 Ultra High Reach Demolition Excavator. I personally can't say enough about this model. I alluded to it earlier, we've waited decades to have a purpose-built ultra-high reach cat demolition excavator in 150th scale. Now we finally have one. This comes with not one shear, but two shears. But moreover than that, if you don't like the UHD boom, you can take this out and it comes with an excavator boom. There are a bunch of opening panels and working features. You can even extend the tracks out. The cab also tilts up and down. You can take the top of the cab off if you wish to put an operator figure in. Just tons and tons of working features on this. It is not an inexpensive model at nearly $300, but again, take into account that you are essentially getting two excavators for the price of one. If you'd like to see a more in-depth review of this model, take a look at the top of your screen right now, where you can see the review that I recently filmed on the 352. Okay, before we close this video out, I have one more model to show you. Allow me just a minute to walk to the other side of the table. This is the Classic Construction Models, or CCM, Caterpillar 375L. Now this version is outfitted with an MP40 demolition shear. When CCM released the 375s, uh, I believe it was also in 2019, they did three versions. They did this demolition version, they did a version outfitted with a sewer stick, and then they did a uh, ME version. My opinion, 
this is the best of the three. This model, the 375s in particular, there is some, in, honestly, some justifiable reasoning behind these 375 models. A lot of people like them, a lot of people don't like them. Not going to get too into that in this video. But the reason I bring this up, or I bring that up, is if you were to only get one of the three, this is the one to get out of the three, without question. Um, the I, I think the angles, I think the sizes, I think are good on this. It looks really, really good with the track loader um, and in a demolition diorama. I've seen these at shows in demolition dioramas. Uh, CCM nailed this one out of the park. Again, that's my opinion. Other collectors hold their opinion, and obviously you're welcome to have your own opinion. You can see that there's hydraulic lines going to the shear. Uh, you have other auxiliary hydraulic lines, metal tank, or metal tracks rather, excuse me. Uh, cab guard on here, you do have some opening features. Although, honestly, you have to be a little bit careful on these with opening doors. But, if you're a fan of 375s, or if you're a fan of cap machines from that era, the early 90s, Again, a no-brainer to add to your collection. That'll conclude this collection update video of my entire collection of 150 scale slash 148 scale demolition machines. I hope the few of you over the years that have requested to see this have truly enjoyed it. For the rest of you, leave your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. By the way, if you own other demolition equipment that I don't own, because I know there's some out there, particularly by... Lee Beer has a lot, uh, even Case has some, Conrad did a bunch of stuff. Let me know down in the comment section below what are your favorites, and I'll certainly look into getting those in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll see you in the next review.